Hello, my name is Jason Goldtrap, and I love America. Let's pretend I have the Trans Am from the movie Smoking to Havana. That'd be cool. I want to visit every state capital in the lower 48 from Maine to Washington. I've chosen a route whereby I can drive from one capital to another. I'm traveling at a constant rate of 60 miles per hour with no bathroom breaks, no naps, no lunch at Cracker Barrel, no souvenir shopping. I'm just driving, driving, driving. The roads are clear, the weather is perfect, let's roll. My journey begins in Augusta, Maine. I drive to Montpelier, Vermont, then Concord, New Hampshire, and down to Boston for some glam chowder, to Providence, and then across to Hartford. I go up to Albany, south to Trenton, then to Harrisburg, down to Dover. I skip across Chesapeake Bay to Annapolis, see the sights of D.C. before heading down to Richmond, Raleigh, Columbia, Tallahassee, and a surprisingly traffic-free Atlanta. Next, I hit Montgomery and Jackson, down to Baton Rouge, up to Little Rockies, towards Nashville, Tennessee, Frankfort, Charleston, Columbus, Lansing. I win the Indianapolis 500, and then west to Springfield. I drive up to Madison to say hello to Garrison Keeler in St. Paul. I then head to Des Moines and Jefferson City. In Austin, I mess with Texas before heading up to Oklahoma City, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Up to Topeka, Lincoln, Pierre, Bismarck, Cheyenne. I catch a Broncos game before I press the pelt to melt to make it to Santa Fe, Phoenix, Sacramento, Carson City, Salt Lake City, Helena, Boise, Salem, and finally I arrive in Olympia, Washington, where there's a parade in my honor with Bigfoot serving as the Grand Marshal. All total, I've driven 13,105 miles in 218 hours, roughly nine days. But wait, there's more. I feel so good, I put the car in reverse and drive back to Augusta, which would make it a round trip of 26,210 miles, or 436 hours, roughly 18 days. Boy, am I tired! And now I'm going to get crazy. I'm going to place $1 bills on the road, line them end to end during my journey. Zoom! Okay, it's 18 days later and I'm back. I've just placed on the road a whopping $276,777,600. Wow, that's a lot of money. Or is it? I forgot to tell you that my Trans Am is also a time machine using a misapplied principle of this guy. I start going back in time on my journey. The hours pass swiftly by and then the days and the months and the years. And now I'm driving my car in a different millennia. According to the U.S. National Debt Clock, we owe approximately $11 trillion, $100 billion. On my drives, what would it take to equal that staggering amount? Well, going on round trips from Augusta to Olympia, dropping $1 bills from the Trans Am and going back in time, I will have made a total of 40,104 round trips, which comes to about 721,872 days, or 1,978 years, which would make it about 31 AD, when I could have heard in person this guy say, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So how do we fix this mess? Beats me. I'm unemployed right now, so I'm not the one to give financial advice. And I have to wonder, is there a way out? Probably not. This message is intended for future generations. It's my way of saying, sorry we gave you such an insurmountable burden, and take my advice, don't spend what you don't have.